Good evening. I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. The FBI won't say why it raided the home and office of L.A. County Councilman Jose Huizar this morning. A federal official did say it's executing several search warrants across L.A. County and that no arrests are planned. Huizar's office also had no comment. He's being sued by two former employees who accuse him of various ethics violations. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has resigned at what he says was President Trump's request. His chief of staff, Matthew G. Whitaker, will become acting attorney general. Whitaker will take over oversight of the Russia investigation, which he has sharply criticized in the past. Sessions had recused himself from that probe. Well, it appears Democrat Katie Hill will replace Republican Congressman Steve Knight in the U.S. House of Representatives. Knight tells CBS2 he called Hill to concede the 25th district race this afternoon. Many of the local House races are still undecided early this evening with razor sharp margins. Visit CBSLA.com for the very latest results. Also still undecided tonight, the race for L.A. County Sheriff. Retired Sheriff's Lieutenant Alex Villanueva holds a lead of fewer than 5,000 votes over incumbent Jim McDonnell. If his lead holds, Villanueva would become the first person to unseat a living L.A. County Sheriff in over a century. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. Hi Sharon, we are gearing up for some very windy conditions as another Santa Ana wind event starts to take hold of the Southland starting tomorrow morning. So ahead of the system, a red flag warning in place. And what that means is we're expecting very warm, dry and gusty conditions. It will be especially windy for the foothills and mountains of LA and San Bernardino County through the Inland Empire and also for most of Orange County. We're expecting wind gusts up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. So a high wind warning has been issued, including the Malibu area and those not under a high wind warning will be under a wind advisory where we could see gusts anywhere from 40 to 45 miles per hour. And then as we head into Friday and also into Saturday night, the Antelope Valley could see freeze watches and hard freeze watches because for those wind sheltered areas, overnight lows will dip down below freezing. Otherwise, temperatures continue to warm with the Santa Ana winds. Friday probably will be the warmest day of the week. Low 80s from the beaches to the valleys. We stay above average even through the beginning part of next week with potential for a second Santa Ana wind event to take shape. That's something we're going to continue to monitor. All right, join us on CBS 2 News at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been a CBSLA.com The Rundown. For Amberly, I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great evening, everyone.